tonight with a man who hit four pedestrians with a pickup truck. He should never have been behind the wheel. It appears he's been on the road illegally for decades at this point and may have been under the influence tonight. 7 Action News reporter Aaron Baskerville is live in Midtown with what he's learned. You've been on the scene all day long. This has been a developing story all night, Aaron. Yeah, of course, when we get on these scenes that are breaking, the information, of course, is fluid and we're learning a whole lot more tonight. But right now we're still on scene. We're on Canfield near second in Midtown. This all went down around 520 tonight. I'm standing where those four folks were somewhere in this area between cars. You can see a Tesla here. They were looking at Teslas that were lined up on the street out here for some sort of Tesla event. And over there you can see that trailer. You can see the damage on the side. That's when that truck crossed the center line, went on the wrong way, slammed into that trailer then ended up halfway down the block before stopping. Like you said, we're learning a whole lot more about that driver tonight, including why he should not have been on the roads in the first place. And this guy comes barreling down in a blue pickup truck going like 45 miles an hour down Canfield. Witnesses still can't believe what they saw on Canfield tonight. This truck surrounded by investigators going over every inch of the vehicle. That's because the driver ran into four outside of Shinola. Sources now telling us the 42 year old driver admitted to taking the drug ecstasy this morning. They also say he's never had a license in his life. I noticed that. We on the wrong side of the road, and, I'm, and I holler, Marky, Marky, when I see the people. Then he accidentally hit the people, and he tried to turn away, but it was too late. This man, who does not want to be identified, is a family member of the driver. He was also inside the truck when this all went down. He claims it all started when they missed a turn down an alley on Canfield, then crossed into the wrong lane. Scott Lowell, GM at Traffic Jam and Snug, ran over to the truck, taking photos to make sure the driver could not get away. Those folks were just out having a good time and, and you know, looking at some cars, and, uh, and now they're going to yeah, have quite an ordeal to go through. Two men and two women were hit, all between the ages of 50 and 73. The driver's family member tells Action News he did not notice anything wrong with him. Investigators believe he had been drinking as well. When, when I was in the car, he didn't have nothing to drink. I don't know what he had before he got to me, but I didn't see no drinks. And I didn't smell no drinks. Once again, sources are telling us that this driver apparently admitted to taking two ecstasy pills sometime early this morning, possibly around four or five. As for the victims in this case, that 73 year old man, he remains in critical condition in the hospital. He has severe head injuries. Two others are in serious condition and the last person decided not to go to the hospital at all. Carolyn, such a frightening situation. Aaron, did we learn anything else about this driver? Yeah, according to sources, this driver has a whole host of issues. We know he's 42 years old. Like you said, he's never, ever had a license in his life. He's only had learner's permits, and apparently those learner's permits have been suspended at least twice because when he gets pulled over, he doesn't have the right stuff. Also, on that truck, he had an illegal plate. That plate shouldn't have been on that vehicle as well. So a whole host of issues. He was taken to the hospital today for a blood draw. So, of course, more information will most likely come out tomorrow. Well, Carol. as you said, Aaron, he should have never been behind that wheel. Thank you so much for the live report, and we're praying for the victims. Stephen.